Hello everyone, how are you doing? Today I have a great video for you breaking down a cue that I wrote over a year ago now for the film This Too Shall Pass from the brilliant director Bailey Falgate. Now if you don't know Bailey, she is our director for the upcoming YouTube Productions X Four of Wands Productions film that we are making for the community. Which, if you haven't heard of that, is a real short film that we are making. A professionally shot, written, produced short film that you will be able to score for just £20. If you're liking the sound of that, head to the Kickstarter link down below to make your £20 donation now. Remember to like, subscribe and ding the bell to be notified when I release more videos like this on the channel. I'd also like you to comment down below if this video helped you at all and anything else that you'd like to see in the future. That's all for now. Let's have a listen to this cue, shall we? We'll be okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. We'll be So the story of this film is that we have a couple who have been victim to an awful hate crime that has left one of them, who's an artist, going blind. It's the story of how they work through that in their relationship and how the artist comes to accept that soon she'll no longer be able to see. This is the uplifting end, however, where we find out that she is still a great artist, um, she's doing an exhibition in her garden, and that they have a child together. It's a really beautiful film, it was Bailey's debut, and if you'd like to give it a watch, the link will be in the description down below. This cue was the it all turned out fine moment, so I wanted this to be the climax of the score. I wanted it to start sweet and tender and just develop into a piece that really pulled at the heartstrings. The most important thing for this was the simplicity, just a very, very simple main theme that just developed, more instruments got added and it just got bigger and bigger. It's just worth mentioning as well that this is not the final version of the film, this was the first edit that I got which is why around here the uh, actors kind of stand still a little bit, I think because it just had to be edited together but I knew that this wasn't going to be what I was writing the music over anyway. I was basically just trying to create the best piece of music that I could that they'd be able to edit to. You'll have to excuse me as well if I look like I'm flagging a bit, it's way over 30 in this shed. I've got lots of insulation to absorb the sound, all the lights on me, oh man the things I do for my art. Also worth noting is the fact that I've literally only used, what, 11 tracks here and most of them are pretty much just piano, some strings, some flutes and a horn. I've also used a couple Albion Solstice things 
couple of originals intimate strings and literally one pad going back to the point i made earlier that i wanted it to be a very simple theme that just grew and grew i've used a cine piano to write the main theme from cine samples the main theme is very simple you'll be able to see it on the screen So that was the main theme, I just started off with that basically, you can hear it here in the cine piano. It then just moves up octaves basically. And then the, another piano part is brought in, this sort of bass part. Don't be afraid to write lots of different piano parts as lots of different tracks because, you know, I mean, I'm not a pianist really. I, my principal instrument is guitar. So I tend to write, you know, the bass part, the middle, like main section and the melody on top separately. And you know, just any extra parts in between that I'd like to, this, this part sounds good. So that's just something like this. And like I said, I, w I was just starting off with the main theme and just adding things. Honestly, just improvising stuff over the top. So under that main theme, we do have a sort of four chord thing going on in the strings. I wanted it to be very quiet far back in the mix so you kind of didn't necessarily really hear it it was just kind of like a, a layer that you weren't listening to but it kind of drives the the theme forward i wanted something that would hint at the fact that they had a child as it was previously discussed in the f in the film what it would be like when they had a kid and the mother would be blind so i wrote in these nursery bells which i thought would be a nice little hint before we see the child As you can tell from the MIDI, it's all really, really simple. I mean, there's no crazy lines going on. Um, it's literally just small up and down movements. The strings mainly play a supporting role in this piece. I want the main theme to be heard in the horn and the flute, uh, but it does double at some parts, which creates a really nice uplifting feeling. Getting onto that horn, this is the Cine Brass Descan horn and it was a very simple theme, it just goes F sharp, G sharp, A sharp and then it just moves up the octave and the strings join in. As well you just have this very simple flute line going just to support the harmony. I really loved this piece, it was so simple and I was so happy when I came up with it and I know that the director really loved it and the whole crew did. It's quite great to see as well, like I wrote this over a year ago and my production has come so far since then, like most of the stuff I haven't even touched in terms of production on this but it does they do sound great out the box a lot of these um, samples the only kind of production thing that I've done is I I mean I've sent them to a reverb that is the fab filter concert hall Vienna that's what I always use really as my main reverb uh, for in terms of orchestral instruments and then other than that on the final master I've just done a little bit of everything uh, just basically you know the standard mastering stuff a little bit of an exciter 
um, a little bit of satin too on the default setting literally just for a bit of warmth because I like that uh, I like to use two limiters I use this um, FabFilter Pro L limiter in in its modern setting and then just the logic adapt adaptive limiter to bring it up to that loudness that you want it to be as you can see there most of what I've used has been piano and strings with a few other added instruments in the background I mean you could easily recreate that now with a few Spitfire originals libraries along with piano book and labs so what's stopping you go compose I hope you've enjoyed this quick breakdown of a really short cue that I wrote over a year ago now for Bailey Short remember she's the director of our upcoming YouTube film so if you want a professionally produced film to have a go at scoring and use in your portfolio head over to the Kickstarter now and pay the £20 for the film. We've already raised over £5,000 of the £8,000 film budget so that means we just need 150 of you to pay the £20 to make the film. If the money doesn't all get raised then the film doesn't get made and the people who paid their money will get their money back but it would be such a shame because this is a great opportunity for you to have something that will look really really professional on your showreel. Brian and I want to say a massive thank you to our patrons that's Dawn Maynard, Oscar Ingberg, Dudley Clark, Mano Arbul and Simon Rigby. So if you guys are watching, thank you so much, you are legends. If you are enjoying the free content, there's plenty more to check out on the QTube's Patreon. We have exclusive videos for scoring in there that aren't in our free library. I think there's four or five now. Benefits start from as little as one pound a month, and that is the kind of thing that really helps us to keep going and create bigger and better things for the community, like this film. On the highest tier of our Patreon for just 10 pounds, the QTube will create a custom show reel for you to show show to producers and directors showcasing your music but if you can't afford that that's okay I've just uploaded this short giving you a few top tips for when you're creating your own composer showreel that's all from me for now have a great rest of your week <laughs> <laughs>